Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 9th, and we are in Yosemite National Park. Yesterday, we were able to get the Eastern Sierra Transit shuttle from Bishop to Mammoth Lakes, and then in Mammoth Lakes caught the Yarts bus into the Tuolumne Visitor Center. And turns out we were actually supposed to go to the Tuolumne Wilderness Center to pick up our uh, wilderness backcountry permits. And so we ended up having to walk an extra two miles um, that we shouldn't have had to because we mixed up our bus stops. But that was fine um, because we had a really short day anyway. We only had to go, I think, from the Wilderness Center. It was like eight, seven something miles. Um, and so we had like a 10 mile day total, which compared to our high Sierra trail days was, uh, very short. Uh, I think we left the wilderness center at like noon and we were here at camp by like before four o'clock. So, uh, that was really nice. Right behind me at the base of this mountain is a really beautiful lake. Unfortunately, we can't camp close enough to it because that's against the regulations. But uh, this is a really nice campsite that we have here that's like surrounded by logs and rocks. So it makes a nice little nook. And um, we did a ton of reading yesterday, which was super fun because we were here so early. I finished Nettle and Bone, which I had just started the night before, kind of late. That was so good. I laughed out loud a couple times, or at least like snickered. I just found it like very heartwarming and compelling and the main character is so unusual for like a fantasy protagonist she's like very non-heroic and describes herself as like short and plump <laughs> which was pretty adorable uh and the characters are just really fun and yeah it was just it was a cozy read I really enjoyed it after that I started Station 11 by Emily St. John Mandel and that's been super good so far. I'm at like 18% of the way through that. It starts off with a pandemic hitting and that hit a little too close to home because uh, I just remembered all of my anxiety from when the pandemic first started. Uh, of course, the pandemic in this book is like very much worse than COVID because it causes like a post-apocalyptic type of book. But um yeah, it's been, it's been really interesting so far, so I'm excited to continue reading that later today. Michael is making breakfast. We're having oatmeal this morning, and he's been reading uh, Warhammer books this whole trip, but just last night started on the Expanse series, which we're going to be doing a book club style video about after we get home from vacation. So I really want to talk to him about that, but I can't because we're saving it for the book club discussion. So today we're hiking to a lake and it's called Mer Merced Lake or Mer Merced Lake. Merced. Merced. We're hiking to Merced Lake, which is only like seven miles from here. So it's going to be another short day. And I think our, almost our whole hike is going to be downhill. So we'll have plenty more time to read this evening. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping to be able to swim 
because uh, there is like a really beautiful pour off right here that is crystal clear and just super, super wants me to swim in it. Um, but unfortunately the water is quite icy. Um, I did go in up to my knees, but that's about all I can handle. The sun's been coming out on and off, which I hope will warm up the water a little bit and I have my swimsuit just in case, but I, I kind of doubt it's going to happen. But yeah, we're, we're camped about a two minute walk from here and uh, we're just going to have a super chill rest of the day. Uh, I started reading Station Eleven last night and looking forward to continuing that story. And I'll check in later. This little guy clearly wants some of our food. Wednesday, I think. We're still in Yosemite. Um, yesterday we hiked from Vogelsang to Merced Lake. <laughs> Merced Lake is where we are right now. We had so much time to read yesterday. It was super beautiful and uh, we finished our hike really early in the day. So I finished reading Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel and it was excellent. The story is a pandemic that wipes out 99% of the population and it takes place in, within like a 48 hour period. So it's super quick. Everyone's just stranded like exactly where they are when it happens. And it was super scary and unsettling to read because I feel like, you know, for those of us who have lived through a pandemic uh, in those first couple of unsettling days and weeks when we didn't know like how serious it was, um, it definitely evoked those feelings, but it bounces back and forth between like the days when it's starting and then 20 years in the future and how things have changed with essentially the entire collapse of civilization. So that was really cool. But the way that the story was told is it focused on these handful of characters who were all linked by this one person that they knew before the pandemic started. And these people didn't necessarily know each other. Some of them did, um, but it just follows like what happens to them as things move on 20 years. I didn't expect it to be so suspenseful. There were parts of the book that I thought, like I was like on the edge of my seat that were just like, oh my God, what's happening? Uh, and it was, uh, that was really cool. I thought it was just solid all the way through. So I'm super happy with that. And then this morning, I started reading Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry, uh, which everyone on BookTube has been talking about. Yeah, I'm about probably 18% of the way through that and loving it so far. Uh, it's about an orc who opens a coffee shop or attempts to. <laughs> and uh, it's super cozy so far and I'm really liking that. I have, uh, I think I will definitely finish that book today since I haven't been reading it for very long. And we have another relatively short hike today compared to um, our days on the High Sierra Trail. I think we're only going about eight miles today. So we should be done in about four hours. Um, and so we'll be there by early afternoon again. And today we are hiking to Little Yosemite Valley. I'm excited. Uh, there's The hike today is supposed to be just filled with like really cool waterfalls and beautiful scenery. So I'm really excited to see where we're going to hike today and I'm excited to keep reading all these great books. Can you just uh, leave, buddy? Yeah, we're not going to bother you. Head out, please. God, he's massive. He's so big. Yeah, he looks true. looks like he's uh, probably eaten recently. He looks kind of chonky. Yeah. All right, can you can you get off the trail now? Yeah, that's the direction we're headed. Can you can you go somewhere else? Can you check some pine cones at him? Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't I want to walk that direction. We could go way up and around. Yeah, he's crossing. That's so cool. I'm surprised he didn't give us a rattle. <laughs>
rattlesnake coming right at us. Come on, buddy. Turn around or go a different direction or something. No. Oh, he's still, still coming our way. Hey, come yeah, on. That's right. Go somewhere else. You're on our trail. Or we're on your trail. I don't know. Come on. Yeah, that's better. We made it to Little Yosemite Valley early this afternoon. And uh, we're at the official kind of backcountry campground here. And it is very crowded compared to ever else we have stayed. Um, because the closer you get to Yosemite Valley, the more restrictive they are about where you can camp. And this designated area is pretty small. Yeah, you just can't spread out a lot. So there's people camped all around us. Um, and I imagine that tomorrow night when we are camped in Yosemite Valley, it will probably be a whole different level. But that's fine. Um, we're having a great time. I finished reading Legends and Lattes about 10 minutes ago. It was delightful. Uh, I enjoyed it very much and I am intrigued to see what I'm going to read next because I have a few other things on my Kindle but I did not expect to be doing this much reading on this trip so uh, I didn't pack any more like vacation specific books um, but I have, I have plenty of other things to choose from so that'll be really fun and uh, tomorrow morning we're getting up pretty early and we're going to hike Half Dome. And then we'll head down into Yosemite Valley. Tomorrow will be our last full day in Yosemite. We're getting ready to climb Half Dome. We've actually been on the trail for over an hour already. But uh, you can see right here, there's some people coming down. That'll be our steepest section. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'll zoom in. Those little tiny dots are people. <laughs> so that'll be us a little bit. and last day in Yosemite National Park. Uh, we are waiting on the shuttle to take us to the visitor center and we're gonna get some breakfast and then we are catching a uh, bus that's gonna take us from Yosemite to the Fresno Airport um, and our hotel is right outside of that. So uh, we're really just spending the morning here um, just long enough really to get breakfast and browse around the gift shop. Um, yesterday we did the half dome hike first thing in the morning uh, we got it pretty early for that and that was great because we missed we missed both the sunrise crowd and the like morning crowd by being like kind of an in-between time which was super super cool half dome was way steeper than it looks in pictures on the internet and was really scary uh, but we did it anyway and I'm really proud of us both and after we did the half dome hike we broke down our camp from the Little Yosemite Valley campground and came down to the Backpacker campground in Yosemite Valley. Um, and that was along the Mist Trail, which was very beautiful. We saw some huge waterfalls. Uh, and I think overall we did maybe like 12 miles yesterday, which was longer than we expected because I think we ended up on the wrong path for about a mile and a half. <laughs> but we had a really nice dinner at, what was the name of the restaurant? The Mountain Room. We had a super fancy dinner because it was kind of our last night of vacation in the parks. So that was delicious. And yeah, uh, tonight we'll be back in Fresno and the one of the ladies that we met on the High Sierra Trail works at a brewery in Fresno and told us to come visit her um, when we're in town because she would probably be working. So we're going to do that tonight and then tomorrow morning we fly home. I started reading A Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. It's really interesting so far. The writing is really beautiful. I'm interested to see where it goes. It's definitely a very big divergence from the things I have been reading thus far on the trip. Hey, 
we have been home from vacation for a month now and I just started putting this video together and realized I never did any more filming apparently after we left Yosemite National Park. That's fine, that was our, our last day. Uh, we made it back to Fresno just fine and we went to Goldstein's Mortuary and Delicatessen, which is neither a mortuary nor a deli. It was just a really rad bar where our friend Lexi works, um, who we met on the High Sierra Trail earlier in our trip. So that was super fun. We got to hang out with her. We got to try a bunch of local California beers and it was a great like relaxing end to our trip. So that was wonderful. And we flew back to Lexington with no issues whatsoever, which was such a relief after our nightmare uh, getting to California. If you haven't seen that, definitely check out part one of the vlog uh, because getting to California was just a total disaster. But yeah, it was such a lovely vacation. I did want to get a little wrap up on Dorian Gray. I finished that pretty much on the flight home. I might have read it like the day after we got home, but I definitely finished it before we returned to work on Monday. And it's very short. It was okay. I gave, I think I gave it three stars or something like that. Um, I think if you're looking for a classic and you don't want something too intimidating, like it was really short and basically, um, Dorian Gray is this guy who's incredibly handsome and also very just like wealthy and obnoxious, I guess is the way I interpreted him. He's like constantly like flinging himself onto couches and like flopping around and like, ugh. You know, he's he's just like super not likable. But the, the plot is basically that he sells his soul and in return, he never grows old. Um, he stays young and beautiful um, his entire life, but he has a portrait of himself that ages and becomes like grotesque uh, in his place. And it talks a lot about whether someone's actions defines their beauty and how uh, being evil makes you outwardly ugly. Uh, and so that was just a really interesting old school kind of philosophical take on the world. Parts of it I thought were super interesting. Parts of it were super boring and hard to get through, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, it was just okay. But I'm glad I read it because it is such a classic and gives an interesting insight into England in the 1800s. Uh, our trip was absolutely lovely. I'm just super happy that uh, we finally got to do this trip because we initially planned it in 2019 uh, before the pandemic. So I hope you enjoyed. This was my first time ever doing a vlog and please be kind, read books, and hit the subscribe button below for more bookish content to come in the future.